Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 3rd, 2023. Well, yesterday, those bears had a little bit of um, feasting going on yesterday. They finally showed up here in the market and actually showed that they had a little bit of tenacity. They were kind of hungry yesterday. And this morning we are kind of setting up for a little bit of a gap down, but the futures have been buying it up all morning here, trying to pump us back up in the market, much like yesterday. So looking at the charts, um, we have some interesting setups for today with a huge amount of data. So what does that mean? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a toppy type looking pattern here. Obviously, the diamonds has been very, very extended in the short term. And as a matter of fact, we're still miles away from our 50 day moving average. And um, just this pullback in here yesterday relieved some of that overbought pressure in the market. If you remember, I suggested it won't get seriously unless we break that low. And at the close of the day, we didn't break that low. We kind of held in there. As a matter of fact, you can almost see that those wicks down here were almost exactly at the same uh, point. This one is 352.04. This one right here, 352.11. So just a little tiny crack of that low. And gapping down this morning here maybe, but you can see the buyers are already pushing this right back up to the flat line here this morning so watching that level of support now of course if the bears continue to find inspiration today if we kind of have something like we had yesterday where we're pumping it up in the pre-market and then as soon as the market opens then we hit the selling then we could feel a little bit more selling pressure in here looking at this chart where would be the next level of price support well i would kind of suggest that we could drop down into uh, these levels right in here testing some of these i think it would be a little bit of a stretch with all of the huge anticipation that we have in the apple and amazon reports today that we actually come all the way back down into this level that would be another 450 a 500 point day to to do something like that and i don't know that there's just so much anticipation for these big tech reports and there's so much hype um, around this earning season um, so uh, I, it's possible but i don't I wouldn't hold my breath. Now, if the bulls find inspiration today, then looks for, let's look for a retest of the top of this candle. Um, see if we can push back up through there. You can see there's kind of a congestion area in the chart. And if we were to rally back up into here, we still have that potential that we could find some resistance and create that lower high. If we can push through that level right here, then I would be looking for an opportunity for us to come right back up here and retest some of these resist, uh, these recent highs in the diamonds. And of course, that is certainly possible with the big tech reports coming later today. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also pulling back, and as I suggested yesterday, this wasn't going to get too serious unless we broke the low of that big black candle there, and we certainly did that, and we're trying to move a little bit lower here this morning. We had Asian markets pretty much all lower last night except uh, Shanghai, which squeaked out a little tiny uh, gain on the day, 18 points. Um, and European markets are lower across the board, and we just had uh, the Bank of England raise interest rates by a quarter point. So watching that closely in here, you can see if we were to find some bullish energy 
then the first thing to do would be to rally back to see if we can break above that resistance in the chart. If we're unable to break back above that resistance in the chart, then I would be looking for more downside in the market. However, if those bulls do find enough inspiration here to push back through, then possibly up into here to test that next area, all this accumulation of resistance in this zone right in here would be the next level to be checking out. If the bears happen to find inspiration today, you'll notice that the gap down this morning, the overnight low was to test this area in here. And please keep in mind guys, that it's not uncommon when the futures have a low like that overnight, that even if we pop up in the morning, that we uh, commonly go back and retest that um, overnight low, just like we did yesterday, and then we ended up pushing on lower. So uh, watch that closely here. We could test this level in the chart right here sometime intraday. And if that were to fail, I would suggest that we come down here to test that next level of price support in the chart, which would be kind of a painful sell off. Let's look at the QQQ. QQQ also, if you remember, I said if we break this level right in here, we'll likely test the support right in here. You can see we're gapping down to it this morning in the overnight and trying to bounce off of it here in the pre-market. Um, once again, don't rule out that possibility that even if we do pump up in the pre-market that we will reverse and come back down. Test this area of support before we move on higher. Now, if the bears were to continue to find inspiration and break this level of price support, where do we go? I think we could probably come down as far as this level right in here, testing the upside trend and relieving more of that overbought pressure. You will want to keep in mind that what we've got here is a bit of a double top high. And as a matter of fact, that is a little bit of a lower high. So this could, and I know no one wants to hear this, but this could um, establish a little bit of a top in the QQQ and that possibility that we could begin a downtrend here for a period of time, just a little consolidating pullback in the market for some rest. Now, taking a look here, if the bulls find inspiration and we can continue to push to the upside, first off, we need to break back above that resistance in the chart right there. And if we can do that, I'm gonna say, well, let's come up here and test this area up here. Notice all that price resistance right across here would be the next level to the upside to test. Let's have a look at our IWM. Interestingly enough, IWM held in there stronger than the other indexes yesterday. Actually pretty darn tenacious um, hold in there yesterday. Holding on to this downtrend break and just kind of bouncing around through that downtrend break in the chart. So if the bulls continue to find inspiration today, well then let's look for a push back up to see if we can retest this area right in here of price resistance. And if they can push through there, well then we're right back up here testing these highs. If the bears were to find inspiration, well what I'd look for is notice this gap down this morning testing this area of price support um, in the overnight. If um, the bears were to retest that here intraday, and if that were to fail, I would suggest the next level lower would be somewhere right in here in that chart. Um, if that fails, then we then we'll will likely fill that gap and push on lower. So watch that closely um, here on the chart today. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX had a pretty good rally yesterday, popping up strongly. And as I've mentioned before, going to be important here in the VIX is breaking that downtrend. That's the first step and then holding it as a higher low. So you'll wanna watch that carefully in here. If this were to rest or pull back, consolidate, um, and hold a higher low in here, that's where we could really start running into trouble. That's where we get that upside trend to maybe begin. But right now, just breaking through that downtrend doesn't really mean anything. As a matter of fact, with the big tech reports, 
coming i wouldn't be all that surprised to see friday we're right back down in this area if they report well so watch that carefully here in the chart one day does not make a trend if we take a look at our t2122 our t2122 relieved quite a little bit of that overbought pressure here yesterday so looking at that in here, you'll notice that we've opened up a pretty big upside opportunity if the bulls find reason for inspiration today to push on through to the upside. Of course, if those bears continue to find inspiration in the market, we still have considerable downside that could occur here uh, to relieve uh, that pressure, that buy pressure that we've seen in the market that's lasted for so long in here. So watch that carefully. A little bit of back and forth might be possible in here. Remember, T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. It just tells us where those pressure points are when we've been overbought or oversold. So watch that close. Our uh, T2108 relieved some of that pressure yesterday as well, pulling back. Some of that frothiness kind of came off of the market, but I don't think anything is really bad here. Um, notice that upside trend did break. We do have that lower high in here reacting negatively to the price resistance in the chart, but we also have considerable price support in here in the chart as well. So if the bears were to continue to push uh, to the downside, this might get a little bit serious, but if we hold um, support levels in here and bounce back up. I think we're still in pretty good shape. It'll be the lower high at that point that might be the risk area of the market if we're unable to push back through new highs. If we take a look at our T2107, same thing is true here, very similar, breaking that trend to the upside, kind of overbought, finding some resistance here in the chart that we're reacting to, still holding above support. And again, nothing really terrible here unless we were to uh, fail to make a higher high. If we make another lower high in here, that could be a bit of a problem creating that uh, downtrend in the percentage of stocks above the 200-day moving average. But this just relieved a lot of that overbought pressure in the market. Our T2101 kind of surprised me yesterday uh, because we did see a nice surge in volume with all of the, the sellers coming in. But what was interesting is we really didn't see breadth change all that much. Um, doesn't make any sense to me that we could see volume change so dramatically and not see an increase in breadth. But that being said, we've got this little hook over here in um, T2101, which would suggest that that breadth may increase. Remember, T2101 uh, doesn't care about what direction the market's going. We're just looking for uh, the breadth in, in that market. So if the bears were to really come in and continue to push to the upside, that breadth could increase to the upside. Same thing is true if the bulls were to come in and really start buying things up again that breadth could increase to the upside. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have a couple of things that we'll wanna be paying attention to. And unfortunately, I cannot find my economic calendar. Um, so give me just a second here. We'll get it back. We'll take a look at what we've got going on here today on that economic calendar. First off, if you can see here this morning, we're gonna get the Challenger job cut reports. The biggest report of the day, however, is going to be the jobless claims. And jobless claims consensus is for a pretty low number, um, suggesting that the jobs market remains hot. Um, if you remember yesterday, the ADP number came in way hotter than expected. So if this number comes in light, um, remember that would disappoint the Fed and could potentially um, see a little bit of bearishness as a result of that. If this number comes in hotter than expected, meaning that more jobs uh, are being lost, 
that could actually be bullish for the market. So it's one of those things where bad news is good news right now in the market. We're gonna get productivity and claims, PMI final. We've got factory orders, ISM services, and a natural gas report today. We've got a couple of bond auctions to be paying attention to. And then right down here at the bottom of the page, we've got the Fed balance sheet, which nobody pays attention to anymore, it seems. Um, if we take a look at um, Friday, Day, we'll know that we've got that big um, employment situation report tomorrow so we'll want to be keeping an eye on that um, I suspect tomorrow morning we'll see a gap pretty good chance there's a gap in the market I'm not going to predict that but pretty good chance that there's going to be a gap tomorrow and that's just going to be the result of um, Apple and Amazon reports after the bell today so kind of keep that in mind when we take a look at our earnings for today um, first off we we want to remember that we do have um, Apple and we have Amazon um, reporting after the bell today those will be our two biggest notables but if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video because there are a huge number of reports today um, we've just got a massive number ADT is reporting uh, we've got bud reporting we've got SQ reporting uh, BKNG reporting today we're going to hear from Gilead we're going to hear from um, Hyatt Hotels, we're going to hear from Kellogg's, we've got um, Shake Shack in here uh, to be paying attention to, we've got a VMware, or a Vulcan um, reporting today, we've got Weight Watchers, there's Yelp, there's Conoco, I mean we've just, Conoco Phillips. we've got a huge number of earnings today um, that could move the market around lots of volatility could be expected here today as the market reacts so if you want to catch that full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy to be um, helpful to your trading if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow now I we have a lot of viewers of the video not a lot of commenters and please keep in mind guys the comments don't have to be any kind of a long-winded comment you can just put in an emoji it's just the reaction with the the, the engagement with the video that makes the difference so if if you're busy and you don't um, have um, anything to say just click that um, um, uh, comment section and stick an emoji in there that works just as good thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that I do truly appreciate it and I also want to just give a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link just below the title of the video as well you guys are truly awesome Let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence. You know the, you know the, the lingo, follow your rules, follow your trading guidelines, never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at a few charts in here. Um, boy, we've had some pretty ugly um, earnings reports in here as well as a lot of good earnings reports. Take a look at CMG. CMG, uh, this big gap down and this rally back up could be setting up the next opportunity short. Notice that we're seeing that 50 day moving average in here rolling over. So if you're looking for a short trade, take a look at CMG. It might be something you want to put on the watch list um, very very um, strong stock but also running into some significant problems here in price you might want to take a look at LMT in here LMT trying to find a support level in here but notice this rally back this rally back up we're underneath that 50-day moving average 
50 is crossed below the 200. That's what we call the death cross. I would be looking for the next opportunity to the downside on LMT. Uh, keep a close eye on that. The reason I'm showing you this, guys, is because we have to remember that even in a very bullish market, there are bearish trends. Um, in the market and um, not everything is as rosy right now as the market would like to um, suggest that it is and certainly the talking heads have been talking this market up and hyping this market up in a tremendous way so watch some of these stocks with weakness if we start to pull back in the market there may be some opportunities here to pick up some short trades to the downside take a look at um, intel intel pretty strong pullback from that double top high here um, as you can see coming into some price support and trend so it is possible in here we find some support in this area in intel turns and comes back up to the upside but let's keep in mind here guys if we were to break that down put in a lower high then there's a possible short here in the chart. And if we take a look at our moving averages, you can see we've got that 50 day moving average right in there, hopefully to provide support. You don't wanna see that fail underneath that, but that's a pretty ugly topping pattern there in Intel. Let's take a look at a few of those bullish charts out there. And boy, there are a lot of those out there in the market. Uh, first off, let's take a look at FedEx in here. FedEx, a beautiful chart, been running in a beautiful upside trend. Very nice price patterns in here. Resting back toward this trend, you can see I've placed a price alert on that chart. And if I rest in here in little tiny candles for a couple of days, I'll probably move that price alert lower we'll bring that down in here above that area and see if we can catch that next entry into that chart keep an eye on that um, we had um, the dollar surging higher yesterday and we still have bond yields going up today so we're continuing to see um, things like um, UUP, um, the US dollar surging to the upside. Now that's going to have some negative effects on commodities here. So let's watch those closely. As you guys know, I've been keeping a close eye on US steel, but boy, oh, US steel took a big hit yesterday, pulling back as that strength of the dollar came in. I hadn't repurchased this yet glad I waited um, so watching that carefully if it still holds support in here we may be fine but we're going to need to see that dollar weaken and if you take a look if we look at like XLE energy also pulled back yesterday although we've got some really bullish charts in that oil and gas sector um, there is that concern here if the, with the strengthening dollar that we may react negatively negatively to that resistance right in here as that dollar strengthen so watch that closely here in the market on those energy stocks there could be a little bit of back and forth in there on those take a look at some of retail oh my goodness retail has been really strong Kohl's uh, pushing to the upside looking really really good it's going to report on 823 but notice this nice little resting pattern in here on the chart pushing out to trend look for that next opportunity for the upside there uh, Costco has been very strong pulling back here recently we may be finding a little bit of the trend in here trend support let's watch that carefully we might eventually see that continue to push on higher keep a close eye on that walmart has been banging its head against this resistance in the chart trying to push through to all-time highs keep a close eye on that um, we're going to report on the 17th and Walmart has a tendency. I've traded this many times before. Uh, don't anticipate it, but Walmart um, has that tendency. It sometimes rallies toward um, its earnings event. So watch that closely in this consolidation here. Still looking pretty darn good. Uh, Gap stores also nice little upside move here resting back towards some support let's watch that next for that next opportunity along this trend for the gap to move on higher so quite a few in that um, area of the market so with that guys hey i'm running out of time i want to wish you all a fantastic day be very very careful out here today there's likely going to be considerable volatility and as i mentioned before i think there's a pretty good chance that we could 
have a gap up or gap down tomorrow morning based on how the um, the um, big tech reports come out today. So be very, very careful. I want to wish you all the very, very best. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Thank <laughs> you.